Hello, welcome to Revision Technologies Joomla 1.5 Administration Basics video. I'm Brian Duckett and I will be your guide through the tour of the basic yet necessary administration functions. If you already have an official manual, you are one step closer to understanding the importance of managing all the content. If you do not have a manual, I strongly suggest that you get one from Joomla.org. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so after you have installed uh, Joomla, proceed to the administration login page, enter the username and password and uh, language if necessary. Alright, so basically um, once the Joomla CMS has been installed on your host. What you're going to want to do is uh, remove the installation directory and then redirect to the URL where your Joomla install is hosted. Enter in the username and password and then hit login. Okay, so once you have logged in, presumably under the super administration account, you should be directed to the control panel. Uh, you will notice at the top of the page a menu bar and under that is the toolbar. All of the administration functions are accessible from here. So here's your, your menu bar and underneath you know basically would be your sub menu. Okay a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, different <coughs> parts are visible to different administrators. Okay, uh, this is the super administration view. If you're looking at fewer options, then please check your access control level. Uh, the navigation depends on, on JavaScript. So you must have JavaScript enabled to use the site fully. Also, keep in mind that uh, antivirus software has also been known to cause problems such as the menus not expanding properly. Alright, so today we're going to take a look at the user manual, manager. Selecting the, uh, the user manager will bring up a table with all the users that have an access control level of registered or higher. Okay, now only administrators and super admins can view it. Okay, you can't export or import users without either a third party component or accessing the, S uh, the SQL tables directly using a tool like PHP My Admin. So today we're going to walk through the process of setting up a new user. You see I have a couple of users already in here. Okay, over here you'll notice that the icons here represent different actions you can take in this user manager panel you can log a user out, you can delete a user, you can edit a user, you can create a new user which is what we're going to do today. So go ahead and click on new. Okay from there basically you're going to enter in the name of the user, also the username, the email, the password. You're then going to verify the password set the access control level, choose a back-end language, choose a front-end language, and then keep in mind the front-end language um, will affect the, this user only. Also you can choose an editor for the user to use when generating content. They may want to write with no editor and then the tiny MC 2.0 editor is actually uh, comes standard with the Joomla install. You can make the help site local or you can send it out to help.joomla.org. You can also choose a time zone. I happen to be in the Pacific time zone so we would set that there and then hit save. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. 
And then also yeah. keep in mind that when you set the email, we'll auto generate an email to that user's email address. And that's pretty much it. Feel free to, for this course, I should say, um, feel free to visit our website, revisiontechnology.com, for any of your Joomla customization needs. Okay? This is Brian Duckett, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. I hope this was semi-informative.